Sub to Isab. So it's Logs Chimps, but it's not just Logs Chimps. It's one tower only Logs Chimps, yes. It is doable, and I'm gonna give it my own shot. So the sub button is enabled, but we cannot place any more than that. So basically, we gotta beat 100 rounds of Chimps, Logs, with only one tower that we can replace, but don't get the money from. Keep in mind it's easy mode, so it's not as bad in terms of the early game. Bloons aren't as fast, towers are dirt cheap. But I can sure it's still going to be pretty hard, but I've taken about an hour or so in theory crafting, and I think I know a strategy that can, well, beat the 100 rounds without losing all our cash. So obviously open start, only like 500 bucks can sold the first 20 rounds easily, so of course we're not going to buy any of uh, his upgrades here. Gonna see how long you can survive for one tower, and then we're going to sell for a heli pilot. That's my next uh, tower on the list. And this heli pilot, I'm gonna take all the way to late game, so you probably know what I'm gonna do with the heli. Now let me just see quickly, um, how much does the heli cost, the Razor Rotors? Because the moment I can afford that, I'm going for it. So basically we're gonna need a 320 heli, because camos. In one tower strips, you basically have to go with a tower that can pop every type of balloon, and... Well, Apache fits all of those descriptions pretty well. Now, like, Wizard would be a, a second best candidate, but the Purples man... It's not doable with the purples. Anyways, brambles. Okay, so after this round, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Get rid of it. See ya, Oban. Was fun while it lasted, but now it's time for the big boy, Razor. So Razor can pop lead, camo, purple, everything. Same with Apache, and then Apache Prime. Yes. Yeah, so that's gonna be the cheapest way I think um, to get to the late game with as little money spent. And then we're gonna have to sell it at I think round 95. Because round 95, even with the slow balloons, the Apache Prime can't kill all the balloons, or the DTs. It gets overwhelmed pretty quickly. So yeah, we're gonna need to do a lot of uh, interesting stuff come the last 6 rounds, but at this point on, till 95, it's gonna be pretty easy. How micro-intensive is, is it gonna be? Um, only for one round, I think. But in my opinion, I don't think it's that hard, this challenge. I think the hardest part is coming up with what towers can kill each round the cheapest way. Uh, we may have to stop the pursuit this round, fucking hell. Then regrows, sorry. Pursuit only lasts for so long, so uh, now for follow mouse, and do not create a rigor farm. That's all. The thing with the razor rotors on pursuit, it's really friggin' bad, because the razors don't pop balloons. Because, you know, the pursuit's always gonna be in front of it, so the razors aren't gonna be hovering over anything. Jack shit. Anyways, um, let's see. Can we get the regrows here, or not? Uh, not gonna work. Don't focus the regrows at the back, that's all. I'm just so worried that my quad darts is gonna hit it, at some point though. I guess if we accidentally do hit uh, the regrows, we gotta focus those immediately. So please no, please no, please no. Get the ones at the front, awesome. And there's a red balloon down here that we gotta get, awesome. And I think that's how you micro properly. Awesome. So awesome that I'm saying awesome 10 times in this one round. Alright. And I think we can go back to Pursuit after this round. Moab should be pretty easy, no regrows. Yeah, easy. Alright, so I guess we can't go for Pursuit until we get the Apache, come on. Don't create a regrow farm here. That's all I ask. Should be fine though, we don't have any other balloons blocking the way. So B43, and then it's going to be easy sailing for the next 20 rounds. And then comes Apache Prime, in which, in which case, things get even easier. So, here we go. Gotta have the dart shooting them so that they pop quicker. Use the Razor Rotors to the advantage. Let's get this yellow. Awesome. Um, no, we're too slow, we're too slow. There's still three Cerams that are not popped. Alright. This round is going to be a little, pretty tight, but I'm pretty sure I beat this in Sandbox when I tested this. Y'all know I wouldn't try the strategy out if I couldn't beat this round, right? Right? So this time we're focusing more Cerams. Um, we got three left. A lot of freaking pinks though, and yellows. Come on, get this Rams. Yeah, it. Nah. It's gotta be better than this. <laughs> nope. Okay, I, I definitely underestimated this round. I thought it would have been a lot easier, but I guess not. Well then, we're in for a tough one. 
which will either take one attempt or 30. I mean, we got a lot of rainbows down, but the surrounds are so damn tight, and that pink is gonna frick me up. I think I need another intermediate tower um, in between Razor Rotors and Apache that cost um, less than 6k overall, and then this would still potentially work. That's what I need. Because right now this plan is not working. The Razor Rotors. 43 fricks everything over. So I need to think of a tower that can solo between Open and Apache Dart Ship. So basically around 23 to maybe around 49. So Razor costs uh, 4600 the 320. We need something that's a little bit more expensive up to. Or maybe the same amount, that, that's fine too, but it can't be too expensive that I can't afford it. Can a 402 reactor work? It would be crazy if that works. 402, so basically unsubmerged when it's uh, a Moab. But I'm not sure if it even pops it. It would be very interesting though, come on. That damage is so low. I doubt that works. This would work if not for round 40, to be honest. Because it, it could take down the Cerams. So popped, submerge. Yeah, rip. ODS, maybe. That pops every type of balloon, except for leads, but I think we can still RNG our way. So how much does it cost? 39.52 for selling, divide by 0.7, it's about 56, that's pretty good. But we gotta beat 45, hold on, 45. I'm not sure if it can beat the uh, fortified leads. So here we go, um, I'll leave it as is right now. Okay, we got a lot of shots in, okay, this works. We got one lead left, we can probably RNG that. How about now? Holy shit, I'm getting so unlucky with this. Pop. Okay, that works, that works. Ignore the balloons that we leak, but if we do better with this, this could work. But here's the thing. I gotta save up for 5600 with only Oban. That's my issue, because I don't know if Oban is uh, that good at surviving, uh, I don't know how many rounds, but a lot. Oh fuck, purples. The cooldown for Brambles is not up yet. Ah, uh, shit. Is it? Hold on. We could still do this. The cooldown is really close, so we'll pop 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 left. 6. Can 1 Brambles take down 6? Well, not in that spot, that's for sure. Actually, <gasps> yes! What a clutch. Ah, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Get it. Attack. Yes! That is insanely good. Wow. That was a godlike Brambles placement. You can't ask for any better on the first try. So nice, nice, nice. 7,000. Man, Oban's really good. So I think now I can sell. It's fine, it's fine. Odious here, I think is really good. Awesome. And infinite. 4, 2, 0. Let's go. Okay, so I did some math. And we can afford the Apache in the middle of 48. So I'm assuming this can beat 47 and 43. I mean, there's a lot of darts. There's enough darts to take down enough ceramics, I think. So 43, here is where I died on last time with a Razor. And it should be able to be 43, yeah. A little close, but eh. I guess we're gonna micro 47 if anything. Um, Let's change it now. I think I messed up my micro already. Figure 8, come on. Good shots, good shots. Back to circle. Get it on the way around. Figure 8 again. Circle. Figure 8, infinite. And I think I messed up here. Yeah, this is a bad run. Oh, uh, this will take a while. Not looking forward to it. We got one. Progress. Does that hit? No, it doesn't. Yikes. Does that hit all of them, please? All of them? Oh, shit. First try. Hell yeah, first try. Now, uh, can I beat 46, though? I forgot. Fortified Cerams, come on. Darts, please. First try, first try. Yellows. And then pinks. Holy shit. Snipe. Nope, not first try. Back to circle, back to infinite. Looking good, except for that one ceramic. Come on. Get this one, yes. Yes. This is it, I think. Just gotta get the yellows, and then we're good. Nice. And now 47. To beat this round, I think everything's good to go. Okay, 
Yes, we can afford a patchy mid-rounds. Mid-rounds. You know what? Let me sell for the patchy. Let's go. Got it. GG. With 2k to spare. And now we can relax. Until our patchy prime, which is 38k. So, I believe I can beat this round without microwaying. Let's see. Is the Helion Pursuit good enough to beat 63 on its own? Wave 2. Let's fall behind a little bit. So wave 3 is going to be uh, kind of interesting. Let's see. Still taking that wave 2. I'm a micro, I'm a micro. Let's get Fallen Mouse in. Let's take down these uh, balloons. First try. Without any interference. Yeah, on, Apache. Yeah, it's got this. Just in time. Okay. So Prime can afford in, uh, yeah, at, at around 1 or 2 rounds. 68. Patchy Prime. Got it. So now he just solo, relax till 95. We'll be back after these quick breaks. So 95, here is what I'm gonna do. Wait, I'm not selling the prime? Yep, I'm not selling it. I'm keeping it on the field to start. So my strategy involves this prime taking out the first DDT and then selling it. And then I'm gonna buy, you'll see when it comes, but it's gotta be one DDT first. Beat one, and then sell it immediately. So, just wait for the purples, alright? Killed. Ground zero. So, I don't know if it was fast enough, but this way, all the DTs will be on screen for one ability, and it should work. At least in sandbox. Come on. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Nah, we're a little slow. It's up, but we have to be faster with the micro. Sell it. Okay, that's it. So spam one. Spam one. This should work. Uh, we dropped it. I'm a riskless. Please don't die. Yes! Nice! We beat 95. GZ only. So we now have 74,000. And here's what I'm gonna buy. Big boy. 520 biggest one. Let's go. 40k to spare. This will beat 76 to 78. Or 98. Sorry. 96 to 98. This works. Biggest one can beat 98 on its own, and this is by far the cheapest way. It's only like 30k overall, or 35k. Way less than a prime. Whatever the bad, don't worry about it. We're gonna sell this biggest one, obviously. It cannot beat 99. 97, these UMGs are gonna take a while. Double the HP. Double the trouble. Anytime now, I'm getting a little bit anxious, having these UMGs get really far. But it should be possible, I mean we did one tower chimps. With biggest one only. But this should be really close still. Holy crap. If you can't beat 97 with this guy, then we, we messed up. But it should be fine. We still got a U-shape to go through. What is taking so long? Seriously. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm not liking this. Two shots, three shots. What? This doesn't work. No way. No way. No. I can't sell this guy for 97, guys. I can't. Because I lose 30k. There's no way. If this doesn't work, then we messed up. And we have to change our strategy uh, for 96, 97, 98. Oh my god. So this is going to end up at the same thing, basically. Yeah, no. No. What tower is good enough to solo this shit? So, I'm gonna stick to what I did for 95 here, but I'm really curious about the Sarbama for 96 to 98, if I can solo that, because I never tried that before. Can we solo 96 to 98, one Sar only? So, use ability now, takes away everything except ZMGs. Sar again. Oh shit, you don't want it to pop the Moabs. Um, we'll have to restart this one, I think. I'll need Ace Micro for the extra damage? Yeah, I know, right? I will. I legitimately will need this, uh, Star Bomba to, uh, shoot the ZMG, so I'll do that now. Use it now. Really? Have on figure 8, so that it gets as many damage on the ZMGs as, as it can. That way, when we use it again, it will not pop to, uh, Moabs. So, is that enough bombs? What do you think? Circle? Before it leaves? I think it's enough. Yep. 97? Yeah, this could actually work, which is insane. 
Because this could theoretically beat 99, but I need to sell it again for the for the uh, cooldown. We're not going to make it in time. Because if we beat 98, the DTs come up immediately, and I'm pretty sure the ability does not come up in time. So we are going to have to sell it, but that's good. Or that's okay. Look at the money we got. 54k. So one more shot should pop this UMG. And then I just gotta hope that the BPs don't be too fast. Ability? Oh wait, they don't pop? What? Oh, the ramping. It takes four shots. There's more than 9k health on these UMGs. Wow. So let's hope after the fourth shot, it only turns to BPs. If it's Moabs, then F me. Hello, motherfucker. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna need to micro again with the plane. Thank you. Thanks for letting me know. So we'll activate it after it turns the bent and away from the range, like, uh, when it comes to the left log, or the last log. So after this turn- oh yeah, yeah. They're fortified now. Think we can use it. Nice. Time for 98. So again. Again, we also gotta make sure to do damage to the zoom Gs, because remember, 96. Two shots took it down to, uh, Moab, so don't do that. Just keep on damaging the zoom Gs. Let's use it now. Yes, 99. So I have to sell. Can I buy back a, a, a Sarbama? This should work. Right? And then first strike for 100. That sounds like that's all we need to do. Let's see, let's see. Ability, it's almost up. So close. Nice. Alright, first strike. GG. Good game. It's done. One tower chimps. Surprisingly, uh, not as hard as I thought. But I got scared for a second because I didn't think, uh, after finding out that we can't go for straight the Apache Prime, I thought it would have messed up the late game, but it didn't. So one for strike. We'll just let it do some damage to the bad, just so there's no insides, you know. Don't suffer to the same fate as 96, 97. Let's let the air burst do some damage first, and then we will call it a victory. So after this spend, we're gonna use it, and that should be GG. GG. Remember, sub to ISAB. Please and thank you.